I'm just going to like set it, set this up because I never, I never really do. So, so today, um, today I'm just like doing something new, uh, cause I've been doing go for like the last like few streams. Um, so bun, uh, you know what? All the streamers are doing bun. It's very trendy. So I, I also have to do it. Also I'm wearing a collar. Okay. So, you know, it's like JavaScript, uh, bun and like a collared shirt. It's, it's summertime, you know? Okay. Um, let me, let me tweet this. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, let me just tweet it off. Cause I don't think I have Twitter on brave. Let me, let me do this over here first. I'm going to look over here for a while. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, honestly, I love checking out new stuff. Um, so I, if my whole stream was just me checking out new stuff, <laughs> that would be amazing. I, who cares like about building things, you know, like just mess around. So I think I do want to try to make something with bun in like the next hour. Um, so it would, it would be nice to actually like do something right. Uh, so maybe let's see. So they have SQL light. So maybe I could, um, well, first I, first I have to understand, first I have to understand what this is <laughs> and then, then I have to like figure it out. So, so I know it's a, a JS runtime like Dino or node, right? Um, but how, how can we, you know what I want to have, I want to have two, two, uh, components, right? One component or like two pages, I guess, uh, one component will be, um, Hang on, hang on a second. Let me, uh, just so I can see how, how much I've been streaming. Uh, I don't need to hear my voice, but yeah. We're going to skip this song. It's boring. Okay, is it video producer? Yes. No, it's stream manager, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, that's that's better. All right. I think so. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, okay. I want to have like two components, right? So like, I want to have like one component that is, uh, I want to have one component that's like, um, that just shows you like a form. I just want I just want to submit one form with CSRF. Right, because I've I've been wondering about React and CSRF, um, because I feel like a lot of people don't like do it because they're always doing like API stuff. But if I I want to do server side rendered Preact with Bun, and I want to submit a form to a SQLite table, and I want to like have sessions like maybe I want I'm gonna do what I was doing with Go, which is like I really liked the Molvad thing. Uh, like when you sign up for Molvad, <clears throat> you just go, uh, you, d oh, cool. Uh, so you just go, uh, <laughs> doxing myself again. Um, so you say get started, right? And then, um, you say generate account number and then, so that submits a form, right? And then, um, that's it, right? Like you just get, uh, you just get this number. And you don't lose it because that's all you need, right? It's like there's no password, no email, no username, right? Anonymity, right? So I really like this. So I want to recreate this, right? Uh, I want to recreate this little guy uh, with with Bun. I don't. I feel like I should be able to do this, but uh, but yeah. Let me let me just leave this up so I don't uh, get distracted. All right, so I, I have not installed this. Uh, this is all like I have not prepared at all for this. So I'm just gonna run this thing, and hopefully my computer uh, does not like get completely like r ruined by this. That would be cool if it doesn't get ruined. That'd be sweet. Uh, okay, so it says bun was installed successfully to bun bin bun right. So to get started, to run exec bin sh bun help right. Okay, so they added to the path. And then now I have bun. Um, I'm already messing it up. Okay, perfect. So this is cool. So I, 
I would like to do server side rendered TypeScript component, right? I want I want a server side rendered TypeScript component uh, with with Preact. Can I do that? So let's let's just try this. Um, let's try this uh, example right here, right? So we'll do uh, server dot j dot ts, right? Because we want TypeScript, and then we will we will give it a little Git repository. Uh, we'll add a little throw a little tmux in there. Um, and, uh, yep, we'll start NeoVim. Um, also, uh, unrelated, but I did, uh, convert my NeoVim to Lua, right? And I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like it's super fast, like way faster than before. Um, so I, I'm not really sure why that is, but maybe it's the old crusty Vim code that doesn't have to be run anymore. I was, I was never like, I was never like a diehard Vim script person or like really a diehard Vim person. Um, you know, I don't have any attachment to Vim at all. So NeoVim, yeah, I'm on board for sure. I should have switched it to Lua a long time ago, but. Okay, uh, let me see. So this, uh, I need TypeScript uh, support in NeoVim. TypeScript NeoVim, uh, LSP. Okay, let's just, let's just go to uh, NeoVim LSP config, right? Let's do that. I'm not even signed it. I'm not even signing to GitHub, but who cares, right? Like, who cares if I'm signing to GitHub? No one cares. Uh, let me go to the list of server configurations, and we will go to TypeScript. And it looks like um, oh, that's Angular. Oh my gosh, there's 54. I have to actually look at this. I just want uh, type type prop maybe it's type prof or no it's uh it's oh, that's that's ruby <laughs> whoops uh maybe it's uh oh type prof is the built-in analysis for ruby 3.1 wait 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 a type analysis tool is this new type prof i thought was like it would generate types for you right um but i didn't think it was like a language server or anything that's interesting huh, i should start this all right. Oh my gosh, I can't start because I'm not signed in. Oh wow, this uh, dark mode thing makes it really ugly. Uh, okay, so let me see this. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm not even in dark mode. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I always forget something. So now it, it should look less ugly, I think. Right? Can I dark reader? Uh, let's see, filter. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? What is that? What is this guy? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so GitHub, GitHub is gonna be off, right? There we go. That's, that looks much better. Okay, so um, I need not type prop. I need TS server, right? It looks like TS server. That sounds right. TypeScript language server depends on TypeScript. Okay, so I already have. So I I should be able to uh, bun. You know what? We're gonna uh, uninstall Node, right? And we're gonna uninstall Dino too. We're gonna so we don't have to we don't have to look at all this stuff, right? So we're not there's no confusion, right? Okay, so now if I run npm, it doesn't exist, right? Uh, okay, so if I run bun install g TypeScript and TypeScript language server. Oh, it's bun add, but they res they resolved it. They uh, they. It, they don't care. They moved it to, they just did it anyway, even if it's bun ad, right? So it seems like it's fast, but like it's kind of getting hung up a little bit. Like I wouldn't say it's like the fastest ever, but I don't, I've never really installed TypeScript and TypeScript language server. So I have no frame of reference for, <laughs> for this garbage. Uh, okay. So enable language server, uh, disables type checking in JavaScript files. Oh, I, I don't really care. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is still installing, so we will uh, paste this thing in here, um, right here. Why not? There we go. So we'll just uh, change that LSP config dot TS server setup. Um, cool. I think just the default should be good to go. I feel like right. Okay, so that's TS server, and then I, is there one for like React or something? Like what? I don't. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. What's CSS LS? 
Oh, there's a uh, a CSS language server. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know that. Okay, uh, let's go back. Is there is there one for um for React, right? Or like JSX or something? Uh, let's see. I probably need syntax for this too. Yeah, so let me do um, NeoVim syntax. Uh, or a tree sitter. There's probably a tree sitter. Tree sitter um, TSX. Let's try that. Uh, okay, so there definitely is one. Uh, there's definitely a thing for that. Our gallery um, supported languages. Okay, so here we, we've got JSX. Okay, so JavaScript is a thing. Um, Ruby's there. Let's see. T uh, TypeScript. Oh, TSX. Okay, so that's probably what I want. Uh, let's see. Uh, tree sitter. Oh, there it is. Ruby, I've got. Okay, so I don't have TSX, right? Or wait, wait, wait. What did I say it was? Uh, TSX and TypeScript, right? Okay. So let me. Um, yeah, that's probably fine, right? Bun is still going on this? Okay, so cl clearly Bun has some serious uh, issues. Um, okay, so let me restart NeoVim real quick. And so it should be downloading TSX and stuff, uh, which is which is doing, which is good. Uh, pop it in for a sec. Bun seems interesting. I think JSX works out of the box. Oh, I, I should actually watch the chat. Uh, yes, I think so too. Um, wait. JSX works. Oh, it, you don't have to d configure anything with NeoVim. All right. Well, look, I'm just I'm just very cautious. All right. I don't know. Uh, also, uh, first time chat. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, oh, NeoVim probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not using. Um, you know, this thing is. Is it? Is it? Let's let's just say, let's just see if it's a uh, TypeScript language server. Okay, so that definitely did not uh, did not do that. Oh, okay, so I just had to run it again, right? So now if I do TypeScript language server here, okay. <laughs> it's looking for node though. Uh, how do I how do I run it with bun? TypeScript language server? But, oh, I do I do bun run? TypeScript language, I have to do this every time? That means that uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it needs no, it needs node. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll bring Node back. We'll bring we'll bring Node back. It's yeah. Uh, it's, I don't think this language server thing is gonna work without it. So we'll just uh, we'll just bring it back. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. All right. So in the meantime, let me write this. Let me copy this thing over. So this uh, I just I I don't really know TypeScript that well at all actually. So we'll just uh, do TS, and then we will say um, export default. I mean, this is I think it's a sub. It's a superset of JavaScript, right? So like valid JavaScript is valid TypeScript. Response, welcome to button, right? Okay. And then this, so now we should be able to run that. Uh, even if I don't have my, okay, so let me try, let me try. TypeScript language server. Okay, so it did, it did run though. Okay, so that, that's fine. So let me restart this one more time and now I will have, I will have my, uh, my LSP going. Okay, so TS server, auto start true, yes. Okay, sweet. All right, so that, that's working, right? Request is declared, but its value is never used. I don't, yeah, so that's working. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, with types, yes, TypeScript. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna run this, uh, bun run server .ts, and it said it said that uh that it has built in TypeScript, so I shouldn't have to do anything. Special, which I don't think I did here, right? Uh, so if I go to localhost 3000, there it is. Welcome to Bun. Okay, cool. So the next step, I think, is uh, like a like a, a server rendered uh, React, right? Um, so that's really what I want to do, right? Is a fast package manager and npm client. Bun install can be configured via bunfig toml. Environment variables. Okay, so I don't, um, yeah, I don't know if I need to do this, I feel like. 
I don't really need to configure it because I don't really care. Uh, let's look at the examples. Okay, so there's React, right, which is what I want. Um, so let's see, package JSON. Uh, what's npm ignore? Okay. So package JSON. Um, React React Dom. What's Web Vitals? What is that? Do I need that? I don't think I need that. I love the streams. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. See you later. Uh, okay, so uh, Web Vitals. I okay. I don't know what this is. Whatever. We don't need it. We don't need it. Uh, let me uh, let me just bring it up on the other screen because I I'd like to see the chat. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So uh, okay. So Web Vitals. Um, don't care. Uh, so I, here I'll make my. Uh, I'll just do bun init, and then it. Uh, oh, bun help. Okay. So bun. Uh, start a new project from a template. Start a bun dev server. Uh, okay, so run JavaScript with bun a or a bin. Install dependencies for a package. Add a dependency. Remove a dependency. Upgrade completions. Um, we'll do yeah, we'll do that. Bun completions, right? Okay, so then we now we could do bun. Um, install. Okay, so we'll do a uh, bun. Um. Bundle dependencies of input files into a dot bun. Okay. Uh, let's see. Start a new project from a template. Um, yeah, let, let's try that actually. Bun create um, help. What are the templates though? Bun create downloading code from GitHub. Uh, I don't, it just says next, right? Dot app. I would actually like to not use a framework. Maybe I'll just start with this and we'll see how far I can get. So uh, let's see. Their example has React here, has an index JSX, React strict mode. Okay, cool. Backwards compatibility, sweet. So let's just do a uh, uh, preact SSR. How do you do it, right? All right, is automatically enabled with Preact CLI. Cool. Uh, I'm not using Preact CLI. Render to string. After the command is, we can start using it right away. The API server is rather small, and can the server side lives in its own repository. Okay, so I do need this. So I need a package JSON, right? Um, and I need some dependencies. Uh, and I need, um, is this how you do, <laughs> how do you even do a package JSON? I don't even know. I, I hate the JavaScript ecosystem. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Name, um, is going to be a uh, bun test and then, um, version is one. Oh, oh, I don't know why people start with 0 0.1. We'll just do it. Just go for it. You know? Okay. So dependencies, uh, here. Let's see, we need um, preact render to string and I don't know what version it is. It just said, oh, you know what? This is what I should do. I should just have this here and then we'll do bun add uh, preact, hello, bun add preact render to string. There we go. Okay, so now if I check this again, Okay, there it is. Okay, we're making some progress, you know? For someone who never does anything with JavaScript, uh, it's, it's going pretty pretty smooth. All right, so um, if I have this server, right? And then I also have, so if I also have, I have server, and then I'm, I'm using uh, a return new response. So this is a string, right? So I, sh I should be able to, um, even in this file, I should be able to uh, import render from preact render to string, and then import h from preact, right? Oh, uh, I also need preact though too, right? Let's do bun add preact. Okay. 
Wow, I see why people use JavaScript, uh, because it's definitely like, you f it feels real fast. Okay, so const app equals uh, div, cl oh, okay. Why is it a div, <laughs> why div though? D h1, okay, so this is a TSX now. Let's see, let's see if I can uh, move uh, server TS to TSX, right? Okay, let's try that, server TSX. Okay, so now we have uh, no corresponding tag. Okay, so now we could do this, right? So const app, there's no way this is right. There's no way. What, are you serious? How is this even possible? All right, hello from bun, right? Okay, app is declared but never used. Okay, so then we could say render um, app. Okay, I don't know why H was there. I guess we just needed it in the context for the same. It's often preferable to not render the whole tree, but only one level shallow app. Okay. All right. So const app is some J some JSX pretty mode. If you need to get the rendered more human friendly way. Oh, I, I don't care about that is especially if you're doing any kind of snapshot testing as if it was written in JSX. I don't care about that. Okay, so let's um let's try that instead. Okay, so let's see if this runs. Bun run server TSX. Okay. Could not resolve JSX dev runtime. Okay. So like you know, it seems like I want I should be able to do this, uh but it it apparently I can't do this, right? Let me uh let me Okay, let me see. Drop in replacement for React SSR. Okay, I mean Dino definitely did this for me, so I, I don't, doing it all all with Bun seems like a tall task. Let's do um fast refresh test. Let's see. Index TSX. Start React. React on render. Add event listener main. Uh, let's do, um, let's just look it up. It, look, it, it just was on GitHub like, to like a few days ago and now it's at 14, 14.3. Let's do SSR, right? Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Has someone talked about SSR support macros? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Could not resolve react. Bun SSR, but it's still complaining. Bun landing folder. What is bun landing? Is that a thing? Source. Let's look up bun landing. Let's see what that is. How do I search? Oh, uh, let's see. Bun landing. Okay, so that. Oh, it's a landing page, right? Okay, so React on bun path reload. It seems like you should be able to do this with Preact, though. Fetch live reload serve. What is serve? Oh, there's actually a built in, a built in server. Um, instead of saying new response, right? Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Async function, fetch. Oh no, he does do new response. Oh, this is static file serving? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Render to readable stream. Uh, and then, so this, uh, I see. So you have to actually... There's some setup required here. You can't. You can't just. Uh, you can't just res new response render, right? Could not resolve React JSX dev runtime. I mean, I could just add this, right? Do I need to bun install? Bun add. I, I like. I guess it needs this, right? Okay. Oh, it got a four oh five. Okay. Let me. Um, I guess I could just do this, right? React on bun. Let's see what's in there. Uh, bunge test. 
bun.js um, react dom bun. Okay, so there's some stuff in here uh, about escaping HTML, um, Unicode characters, uh, dangerously set inner HTML, allow full screen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it just looks like a... Is this necessary? Unless this is the thing that does the server rendering. Like, unless he ha there's a built-in React DOM thing instead of trying to use, uh, like, uh, like packages. Render to readable stream. So I guess render to stream. You know what? Uh, this, let's try this. I actually wonder how well, how well Preact is, uh, is architected here. So if I just if I just call render app, right? Um like in the preact docs. Um it's a string, right? So I should be able to yeah, I should just be able to uh console.log this. Right? Um like what if I try the bun run. Okay, so it um, it doesn't like, uh, that maybe it doesn't like my comment. No, uh, it actually doesn't like the import. It actually doesn't like the import. It might, it might not like that. It's a TSX file. Maybe I'm not sure if it has built in support, but let's see what it says. Let's go back to bun, bun sh, right? Server side. It, the first example is server side react rendering, right? So let's let's look at the source here. Okay, so it does th this is always required, right? React DOM server browser. I wonder why. Um Okay, let me um Typically it's used on a node server. It must not be uh it must not be compatible, right? Let's try it. Instead of instead of uh Oh, I like this little picture. Brave. That's not bad. Okay, so uh, let me see. This must not be... This must not be... Th there must be a special reason why. Like, he's using this React DOM bun JS instead of the uh, React DOM server browser. Let's, uh, let's try to add it. Bundle add... Or, sorry, bun. <laughs> it's bundle. Actually, you know what? That was a missed opportunity for the uh, for the bundler people in Ruby. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's um, let's just do uh, React DOM server. Okay, let's do uh, React DOM server. Okay, appa apparently uh, the React DOM stuff is not as nice as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, React DOM server. So let me. How do I install this? Where does it come from? Does it exist in in Node or in npm? Like, okay, let's go. Let's go to npm. Um, React DOM um, server. Okay, so that's this is a bunch of garbage. Okay, <laughs> obviously it's not point oh five, right? Um, React DOM components Inferno. Okay, all right. So we'll do uh, React DOM server. Wow, it's it's really. Um, did it actually even find it? It didn't even find. Oh, six years ago. <laughs> okay, all right. It's probably under React DOM, I guess. Right. Okay. Let's just do uh, this, I guess. There we go. Okay, React DOM. Cool. Uh, sweet. Okay, so now let's try that. Instead of preact render to string, preact SSR. Um, I'm actually kind of curious why it's not working though. 
Maybe I can't be, I can't be in a, um, okay. Like I can't be in a, in a TSX file maybe. Cool. Uh, yeah, maybe I can't be in a TSX file. Oh wait. Oh wait, that's just, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, let me try react Dom instead. Let's just use the bun example here. We'll do um, React DOM as a module, server browser. I don't know, whatever. Uh, we'll say uh, import render to readable stream. Cannot find declaration, so we'll say server. Okay, we'll just we'll just type browser again. Okay, so let's try that. And then um, set to match Dino benchmark. Okay. Uh, so we'll just do uh, const app is a thing, h1. And then we'll we'll do this though, I guess. Um, with with the with the parens to make it look less magical. Actually, you know it doesn't matter. We'll just do that. Okay. Then we'll say uh, render to readable stream. Um, and then here I should be able to do what he's doing here. Export default. A oh, it fetches async now. Port 3000. Okay, async fetch request. All right. What is wrong with this? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with my, uh, what, what is going on with this? Why is this a thing? Async fetch. Um, okay, let me do port 3000 again. Okay, that was really weird. Uh, okay, and then we'll do a return new response, render to readable stream, app. Oh, I see. So it's a little, it's a little different. Oh, it has to be ASIC because we're doing a wait now. Um, render to readable stream, app headers. I think it's fine just to do, just to do no headers. So response, so I can't just call app. I actually have to call that because app is a function component now. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Can I do this? Uh, request, whatever. Uh, okay, so yes, let's try this one more time. What kind? What is this file called? It's called oh, it's called JSX, right? Okay, <laughs> let's do bun run uh, server TSX. Okay, could not resolve. So I'm kind of um, okay. Let's do um, what if I just do bun bun? What if I do bun dev? Hellfire squid. Hello. Okay, so now I have a dev server, but it's not really like it's not really what I want, you know, necessarily. Um, cuz it definitely did not return what I wanted it to. This must be um this must not work. Right? That's probably why they commented it out, right? Let's go to uh, let's go back to bun landing. Let's just look at page. Okay, so I'm look I'm looking at page. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here, but there definitely are uh, React components in the file. They're just huge. Um. Okay. Um. Let's see. Build.tsx. Okay. Th this thing keeps. I have to, I think I'm going to copy this. I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually just do this. Uh, there's no way that I have the bun stuff though. Right? Like it can't, uh, Oh, uh, thank you for the follow hellfire squid. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. I mean, there's no way I can do this, right? That's just not a thing. <laughs> That's not a thing we could do. There's no way. Uh, let's just, let's just try it though. 
So render to well, why am I returning though? Oh, that's fine. Let's look at this one more time. SSR. Maybe it it needs to be. Let's look at wait. Where's page? Oh, ex const default page import. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. So this um, I mean it is a component. So just like I'm doing my component here. Uh, but here we'll just do uh, we'll just do headers. Um. Because I saw that it was octet. What is up with this indentation? Why is it doing this? NeoVim, don't let me down. Seriously, like why Why is that completely ruined? Okay, so la there's no way this is going to work. Bun, run, sir. Okay. Let's go back to the lander. Maybe the lander will uh, shed some light on this. Um, okay. Let's see. TS config. Do I need that? I, don't, I have no idea if I need that. .env, okay, FFI, cool. JavaScript core, got it. Okay, so it, se it seems like it should be pretty straightforward. As long as I can render a React component to a string, I should be able to put it in here. But apparently there's a little, there's a little more than just that, right? Let's see. Uh, you never seen a JavaScript test runner as fast as this or incomplete, yeah. Uh, okay, so let me look at, let me look at the next example here. Is it TS config? Um, okay. There's a next config. Okay. <laughs> There's a package JSON with next in there. And React DOM is there. And we, pages. Okay, this is just next taking over though. Um, oh, there's a bun config. Oh, framework is next. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I think if I can, so I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to copy this over because I really want this to work. It seems like it would be really cool if uh, if this would work. What am I developing? I am checking out, I am trying to make this uh, thing right here. Um, you can have this account number, by the way. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to make this, uh, this thing, right? So like when you, uh, oh, you know what? Let me get rid of the cookie real quick. Uh, so when you, um, is it in memory? Is that what it is? No, no, it's in uh, sources, right? Oh my gosh. Application. That's what it is. It's uh, cookies. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, when you go to Mulvad, um, you, uh, you do not, um, you don't like enter an email, right? You, uh, you just you hit this button and then you don't enter an email or a password or anything. You just hit this button and then it has a little like animation and it gives you a, uh, a set, a set of no, four numbers in four, four, four digit numbers. <laughs> and then it, oh, that's it. Like, don't lose it. It's, it's, it's your, I thing, right? It's like your password, it's your identifier. So it's, you don't want to share it with anyone and you don't want to lose it at all. So I just did just this, um, would be sweet. Uh, and I would like to implement that on all my stuff going forward. Like, so good luck because I can't even help you if you lose this number, but I think it's really cool. So I just wanted to just, just write just this little part, right? That's all I'm, that's all I'm doing. I vaguely heard about this. Yeah. I think Mulvad, um, I mean, based on what I've read on Hacker News, like it seems to be the best uh, VPN. If you're going to pay for a VPN, um, you want to use Molvad. I mean, I personally would just use, uh, uh, WireGuard with like my own VPS. Uh, but you know, whatever, if you're going to have a third party, Molvad is the, is the one. Uh, okay. So let me see. Oh, I just have to show for the chat. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna copy this file because <laughs> I, I really, I want this to work like this. But it's it's definitely not working like I wanted to. So I'm just gonna take this out of test React DOM bun. Um Okay, oh wait, what's this? Production.minjs. I'll just take it out of test, I don't care. 
Okay, so we will just uh, download this, right? We'll just get this thing. Uh, curl O, um, whatever it's called, right? Um, there it is. Okay, so let me see. This is called React on Bun.js, right? Okay, so that's in the root too. Okay, so here, now we could just say um, relative. Now that I have this, I can go back to this thing and just do uh, uh, react um, bun, right? And then that should uh, that should do it, right? I am at, I want, yeah, I, I'm guessing I can, uh, I'm guessing I can import a JavaScript file from a TypeScript file. I'll be learning a lot of TypeScript in a couple of months and then I might be able to help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, TypeScript, uh, you, know, you don't necessarily have to know TypeScript. Uh, I think it's it's similar to JavaScript. So um, yeah, if you uh, have anything you want to help me out with, that'd be nice. Okay, let me see. Uh, this, we'll, we'll try it again. <clears throat> okay. Clearly, clearly could not resolve React JS de JSX dev runtime, right? Um, okay, so let me, I don't even, it's like the comments don't matter. Like I don't, could not resolve JS, React JSX dev runtime. I don't even know. Okay, I, I, it's like I can't even import. I wonder if I just do this. Like what if I just try this? What if I just, uh, yeah, just get rid of all this and just try to run this? Just by itself, just just the import. Oh my gosh, are you serious? So this thing, what if I just get rid of this? So let's see. Okay, so that that's working, right? Uh, but it looks like it, oh, okay. Cat server TSX. Okay, so that that is working. So if I do this, then it'll fail, right? Okay. All right, so I, I don't I don't really understand why it's failing, um, but we can react. I mean, I might need react, right? Instead of preact, I guess. Uh, let's do let's just do react. Oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, bun add react. Okay, we'll reload that. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so let me um let me delete that. Okay, so let me try this now. Oops, I already added that. Okay, oh, oh, I just need to react the whole time. Wait, does preact require react? I thought preact was it standalone. Oh, interesting, that's probably where I got hung up on. Uh, I'm not the greatest with JavaScript, but I know a bit right now, though I'm trying to learn a language older than C. Hello, did you ever bun install? I did, I did bun install. I, I did do that. Wait, did I? Bun install? Yes, checked eight installs. I have, yeah, it, it is running now. It is running now. So if I go to the local host, there it is. There's my TypeScript component. Oh my goodness, it works exactly how I thought it would. All right, so this is this is pretty cool. Like, I like this. Um, Yeah, this is, it feels even simpler than Dino because you can just, um, the only files in the thing Oh my gosh, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Wait, how do I not show uh how do I not show the the modules here? The node modules? Tree help. Tree uh how do I ignore? Um oh I. Okay. Tree I node modules, right? Okay, so the only files are my React DOM bun JS, which which I might actually be able to use uh React DOM now, right? Uh, server browser. Let's see. I might not even need that dumb copied thing. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh okay, so that that does work. Oh okay, sweet. So I don't even need that weird um, copied file now, right? React on bun js. Okay. All right. So this man, this yeah, this is one file, and uh, that's it. Like, okay. So I wonder if I can actually just assign. Uh, if I could just assign this and just have it without as a component, right? I wonder if I can just call this. <laughs> Let's see. 
All right, so that that's working too. Okay, so this yeah, this is pretty nice. Like that's not bad. Um, this isn't bad. I I actually, I actually really like this. Like, it it feels even simpler than Dino and and fresh. Like for sure. Um, yeah, this is super nice. Um, of course, I don't have anything. Right, I have I have no cookies, no nothing. But I am server rendering React components. Um, but I will say, Dino though um doesn't ship javascript but i imagine this does so if i look at oh no this is it there's there is no javascript by default right so if i turn off javascript right uh brave preferences uh let's see what what the frick what is brave <laughs> i brave i don't know what's going on here like what what is happening with you why is there a wallet? How do I get to the actual settings? Um, settings? Okay, let's just uh, j uh, JavaScript. Let's, let's, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so cookie security. Um, no. Is it like advanced or something? Uh... I don't even know. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, don't allow JavaScript. Okay. So there we go. We're going to delete. We're going to disable JavaScript, right? Um, in, in here. And then we'll, okay, cool. So it doesn't actually require, so it did just render to string, like it said, and it, it, uh, it's definitely not shipping any JavaScript. Okay. So this is, uh, this is really cool. I do like this. Uh, I do like this. I, yeah, I wonder, okay, so yeah, I can probably, um, I can probably do this. Let's see. So if I, uh, here, we'll just copy this. Okay. So we will say, um, we'll say, yeah, we'll have an app still. This is probably the furthest I've ever gotten on stream for like, um, so we'll do this. It, what is up with this? Does this formatting not work on TypeScript? Like what is happening? Um, oh, you know what? It's probably my, uh. It's probably my um, tree sitter thing. It uh, I don't have indent enabled. Maybe this will help me. Maybe I don't need NYs either. Let's try. Server. So now if I, yeah, it's still like totally weird. What the heck? Interesting. Whatever, I'll just deal with it. All right, HTML uh, is a thing, right? <clears throat> All right, body. Yeah, I, this is not even, it's not even like auto-completing. What is up with this? Let's see, NeoVim, TypeScript, auto-complete JSX. Uh, I know nothing about any JS framework, so it all sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me too. I also don't know what the heck I'm doing with this JS stuff. Uh, it all starts with the syntax. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Vim JavaScript. Okay. So I could probably do this maybe, right? I already have syntax highlighting, right? Custom indenter. Okay. Let's do, um, TypeScript, uh, uh, tree sitter, uh, TSX. Uh, like indentation. I don't want to watch a video. <clears throat> um, that's not gonna help me. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna give up on that. Uh, I think there's a package called bun types or something. Not sure to help with completions. Uh, let's see, bun types. Uh, bun types. Uh, neovim. Let's just go to the bun dot the thing. Okay, let's bun types. Bun types. Because there's definitely not going to be anything in Google. <laughs> there's, it's too new. There's you have to go to the source here. Uh, let's see here. Bun types. We can just go to npm, I guess. Right. Let's see. Oh, you know what? What's up with my dark reader thing? Is that not thing on? Dark. There we go. Um, oh my gosh, bun types. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Perfect. Uh, I do want that. Bun add. Bun types. Okay, and now I will uh, restart my thing, I guess. Server? Okay. Yeah, I don't really know what's up with this. Um... have one parent yes i understand uh okay so head um title we'll give it a title uh man what is up with this it's not like auto completing the html that's really bugging me uh i think there's a way uh i mostly use c sharp so there's one framework <laughs> yeah uh types for bun js editor autocomplete yeah but this is like a typescript thing right like it, bun types Oh, uh, do I need a TS config? Touch TS config uh, JS. Oh, JSON. Okay, I'll just copy this. Uh, all right. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, yeah, TS config. Uh, okay, so t uh, TS config. Um, ES next bun types is the most, is the important part. There's no comments in. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so let me see. Types. Okay, so now if I restart this, um, my language server starts up. Okay, here we go. Cannot use JSX unless the JSX flag is provided. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I definitely... Um, I Now I'm like overwhelmed here. Let's see. JS config. <laughs> Cannot use JSX unless flag... Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Someone's talked about it. What it? Yeah. Okay. Try restarting your ID. <laughs> I, I love it. Like, I just, I love how, like, ghetto the JavaScript ecosystem is after all these years. Um, okay. So let me see. <clears throat> let me see. So I, um, I, I have TypeScript though. Oh, I don't have type. Oh, save dev. Okay, let me do bun add dev, right? What if I do save dev TypeScript? Okay, so, okay, that's not gonna help me. Uh, we'll go to package JSON and we will say dev dependencies uh, TypeScript, right? Um, oh, you know what? Let's, let's try bun add TypeScript dash dash dev. Okay, that did that didn't do it. <laughs> we'll just add to the actual dependencies. I don't really care. Let's see. Uh, TypeScript is not a thing, but that's okay. I will restart. Um. Oh my goodness, the configura <laughs> the configuration though, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> uh, JavaScript, if it wasn't horribly broken. <laughs> I, I love how like I love I love this. This is so funny. Um, I I just I totally forgot about all this madness. Okay, so let me um let me look at this real quick. Allow JS. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's something React. Okay, so the JSX option, right? Okay, so that's probably what I want, right? Uh, let's see JSX, um React JSX because I actually tried Preact. But that was not working, right? That was not working at all. So we'll just stick with the real deal. Um, resolve JSON module, strict true. Okay, set to, it causes to emit JS files with the JSX change to. Yeah, maybe I don't want this. I have no idea what the heck is going on. Okay, let me, um, let me delete my node modules and uh, reinstall. Okay, wow, um, that's fake. It was already cached, there's no way. <laughs> There's no way. All right, uh, let me see. What am I doing? Yes. I'm seeing if my server's still running. I also would like to have um, the auto pairs would be nice. All right, hello. Uh, let's see. Auto pairs, pairs. Um, this might be a, 
Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of that auto pairs thing. Uh, plugins. Okay, config and vim. Uh, hello. What? Um, Lua plugins. Da Lua. What the heck? Lua plugins. Okay, so what do I have here? Vim. I have I have auto pairs set up. Um, or at least I have it installed. I I can't believe it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do uh, JSX or TSX, I guess. That's crazy. That, I mean, that's seriously madness. Like, that's insane. That's insanity. Um, NeoVim, TypeScript, TSX, uh, auto pairs. How in the world do you set up NeoVim complete? <laughs> I mean, it's, al it's also possible that... Uh, CMP, uh, TS close tag versus auto pairs. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this? Okay, we'll just we'll just do auto pairs. Um, always force close. Oh, maybe it's not what I want. This is, auto pairs is something else. Is it? Is it something else? Uh, let's see, HTML. Okay, so multi-byte pairs. I can't believe I have to do this. Like, isn't the TypeScript thing gonna help me with this? I guess not. All right, let's, uh, let me see this stupid thing. Uh, too fast to be real, definitely some caching going on. I've learned just enough Vim to be able to use it when I need to, which is only for some classes in college. <clears throat> wow, your college made you use Vim? That's pretty crazy. I, I, uh, my college made me use, uh, I don't know what it was, NetBeans or something, some stupid Java ID. I have no idea. Uh, I'd rather be stuck in NeoVim plugin hell any day of the week than use some dumb Java ID. Uh, let me see. So let me, let me, um, I, like, I almost can't believe the TypeScript language server is not doing this, right? Okay, let me, uh, let me do this. General usage. Okay. NeoVim TypeScript. We'll just we'll just do that. TypeScript tooling for NeoVim. Give me a plugin that were oh it's deprecated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> LSP is officially supported. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh a Lua plugin written in okay, so uh to write TypeScript Lua optional. A minimal integration plugin to set up the language, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do NeoVim uh, JSX, right? Uh, syntax and indent plugin. Oh, I like that. Uh, make sure JavaScript files support React JS, JSX correctly. Okay, so I mean, it seems like I have syntax highlighting, kind of, but it's like not really, right? Um, if I look at this again, it's like. It's almost uh it like it's almost working, but not quite. Um and it it's like uh maybe maybe if I did like a class component, right? Like it has something here, right? I also don't have any snippets either. Um Yeah, the indentation's like totally off. Yeah, okay. Uh let me see. Quick jump to function braces, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, I'll just deal with it, whatever. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, bun.sh testing. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to need a button, right? Oh, no, I'm going to need an H1. And the H1 says uh, get an account number, right? And then I'm going to need a uh, button. Let me delete the cookies again on this. Memory. Application, okay. 
I also disabled JavaScript, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the whole page doesn't even load without JavaScript. Okay, cool. So I had to re I have to re-enable JavaScript for this stupid thing. <laughs> Let me see. Settings, uh, JavaScript. Okay. Uh, don't allow sites. Uh, sites can use JavaScript. All right, there we go. Let's uh, restart this stupid thing. Here we go. Okay, so I need a H1. A little p tag, right? Uh, start by generating a random account number, and then I also need a a button, right? A button, okay. And then, um, yeah, I am curious how I can like rehydrate when I do my SSR. I wonder if I can. We'll see. Or that's another. That's a whole other thing. Uh, it wasn't required, just was using SSH to develop on the uni computers remotely. Everything else was in VS Code or Visual Studio or Code Composer for an embedded system class. Um, yes, uh, VS Code, the editor to end all editors. In fact, VS Code killed Adam. It's sad. That was, that was used to be my favorite editor. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's, uh, just using, oh, okay. So you use SSH, right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, Vim is usually typically, I feel like, used in SSH situations, but, uh, but yeah. Um, hold on, I gotta check my phone real quick. Well, uh, okay. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. So, button, uh, generate account number, right? I also... I uh, should probably get like a uh, twin macro in here or something, right? To do some nice tailwind things and, you know, get like my proc file going and everything. Let's see, tw import twin macro. Okay, so style JSX using tailwind v3 classes. Uh, import within a CSS to add conditional styles. Um, okay. Um, oh my gosh, style components. Okay, I... Um, Babel? Oh, we're not going to do that. That's We're not going to get into that. There's no way I'm bringing Babel into this thing. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is looking good. Um, it's going to be ugly, but that's all right. Let's just see what it looks like. Uh, bun run server. All right. I mean, this is definitely the most painless I've ever... Okay. All right. All right. Now that it's a component, right? I was just saying, it's definitely the most painless uh, situation I've ever had with, with uh, JavaScript uh, and TypeScript and like React, right? Okay, so I have a button and um, this is all the HTML, right? Uh, response here. Oh, it's all one string. That's all right. So simple. Like, it's crazy how simple this can be, right? Yeah, that was perfect timing. I know. I was just like, oh, oh, yeah, it's 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 the best uh, experience with JavaScript ever. And uh, okay, it didn't work. All right, so let me uh, actually. You know what? I'm gonna console.log. Um, server is listening on port three thousand. Oh, is that not how that goes? Can you not console.log? Uh, console.info. Oh, it just doesn't. It just doesn't do it. Is it because it's no? What if I what if I just do this? Console.log. Oh. Okay, interesting. All right. Uh, okay, so cool. Let me. Um, famous last words. Expect bugs. This thing is in beta. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That is true. Uh, okay, get started with Mulvad. Um, so when I when I click this button. It says generating account number, and then it gives me a number, right? Okay. All right. What's crazy though, now that I'm thinking about this, um, Mulvad has no way to know, like, the only way they can know, like, oh, I see, they can keep track of sessions. So like, if this number hasn't logged in or paid or anything within like a certain amount of days, they probably just delete it, right? But like, the number is so small, it just takes up one row in a database. Why would you ever delete them? But you can just sit here and click these, this button a million times. Um, so maybe it's probably not not great, but that's all right. 
All right, so uh, I don't I don't know how to do this. I, I have no idea how to do it. React uh, SSR um, rehydrate. I I don't know what this is. Under understanding rehydration. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see. We're gonna in the React world. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. So React on there is a thing called hydrate. Right. It's the same as render, but it's used to hydrate a container. We're rendered by React DOM server. Okay. Attach event listeners. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. Uh, client side rendering means rendering pages directly in the browser. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, this is nice little uh, nice little diagrams. That's not bad, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, finally, we're getting to the hydration. Okay, so there's. Okay, so you have to give it a. Wait. Oh, basic React app. SSR. Okay. Oh, so there is a separate file called hydrate. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have to give it an element to hang on to. Um, and then I have to call React on hydrate. Uh, and then on the server, um, I send it over. Oh, I need another. I need another file. I need something else. Oh, this is this is the React component. I see. Okay, so this is the component, and then. From that component, right? I uh, so this is the server side rendering here. Surrender to string, okay. Okay, and then uh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make um. I need to uh, uh script. Wait, is it the thing? script? <laughs> script. I oh man, I wish this thing had stupid uh, type. Uh. Mo module or something? What is it? Is it type uh, script module or something? Let's see. Uh, JavaScript uh, module type or something? I don't know. That was freaking stupid. Uh, let's see. Type type uh, module. That's it. Just module. Because before it was like application. Maybe it's application JavaScript. Maybe I want that. Uh, okay, so then we'll say... Um, oh, I also need to serve that too from the server. So okay, so it's like three parts, right? It's like the I need to ref reference it, um, defer true, and I also need to uh, I need to serve static files. I need to serve the same static file from the server, uh, and I also need to um, to uh, call rehydrate. I need to call hydrate. Okay, so let me see. Uh, Bun has. They probably wait for you to pay before they store it in the first place. Oh, that's true. Bun has SQLite bundled in. Might work well for this. You ever heard of the Mumps language database? Mumps. Uh, I have not heard of this. Let's look it up. Okay, so is a high performance transaction key value database. Um, 56 years ago. Oh my goodness. Uh, integrated database language, direct high speed read write to permanent disk storage. Uh, wait, wait, well, hold on a second, hold on a second. Mumps has since expanded as the predominant database for health information systems and EHR records in the U.S. Oh my goodness, no wonder our hospitals suck so bad. They're using 56 year old technology. Oh my goodness, we I gotta look at this. Let's look at this real quick. Let's just. Hello world. We gotta look at the hello world. Oh, you know what? That's actually not that bad. That's not horrible. I mean, look at this. You can even you can even make it a little nicer. You know. Um, yeah, this isn't this isn't terrible, or it's not as terrible as I thought it was gonna be. You know. Um, but yeah, this is insanity. Um, I can't believe that our infra our. I mean, it's supposed to be mainframes, right? It must run on mainframes. There's no way. That it runs on like a PC, right? Oh wait, let's see. Middle Ender Systems. Oh my goodness. D DEC is in here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, they must have made hardware just for this. This is insanity. I've never, I've never heard of this. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Um. Wow. Yeah, but this this doesn't look horrible. I mean, it actually looks quite modern. <laughs> now that I'm like it, it looks like something that you would find like in a zig, right, or something, right? 
it looks like it looks like something that you would see there right like i mean something you know it's kind of little it's very little right there's no curlies but you know what are you gonna do it looks like uh, white space is significant um you ever heard of the bumps uh apparently the use case is it's exceptionally fast well yeah i mean if it's if they were running okay so like this is how i think about like COBOL and all that stuff is like if they were running it on mainframes with like no memory and like no processing power it's probably uh it's probably super fast um in today's in today's uh hardware if it can run on today's hardware assuming ibm keeps making uh keeps making um I'm trying to go through this. Uh, I'm so glad that this was not like a PDF that's going to take over my computer. Actually, you know what? It might be still. Okay, so mini computers. um, Hierarchical model. Yeah, oh, I'm definitely going to use SQLite for sure to store the uh, to store the, uh, the thingy. That's what you were saying. Uh, Twast TEP. Twast T3P? Yes. One has SQLite, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna use SQLite. Memory on early mini. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. Uh, this is, these are also the ugly. It's like the ugly slides ever. <laughs> I, I love this. Um, this is crazy. Like I can't believe this is a thing. Oh, it has an interpreter. Wow, look at that. Oh, it has four loops. Okay, so I this um I I'm surprised it's a real language because it seems like bumps should be just for data manipulation right like or like a sequel but yeah it's a real it's a real thing um logical values logical expressions arrays wait why are there two things of local and global arrays oh okay circumflex is that what you is that is a carrot am i crazy what's a circumflex circumflex uh two-step yes uh, it uses periods for code blocks. <laughs> Classic, like a like Fortran, right? Is that Fortran? Uh, is that what it looks like? Let's see, Fortran lang. Oh, this website's pretty freaking nice for Fortran. Wow, what the heck? It's pretty modern. I can't believe this. Uh, hello world. Um, yeah. Oh no, it uses end right for blocks, like uh, like Ruby. <laughs> honestly ruby's end is like super ugly like i'd rather have curlies like do end is like such a nightmare um yeah actually fortran doesn't look that bad it's definitely not as bad as i thought it would look yeah it's not bad oh my gosh it looks exactly like ruby wow it's so weird i like ruby less now okay let me see um circumflex um is a what this is not even oh, okay so carrot okay so it's also called a circumflex right i've never heard of it i've never heard of this circumflex but it's also a carrot well uh fortran is also for scientific stuff go to slide 38 of the pdf where did wait where did the pdf go i lost it is it right here no is it here no is it there? Hold on. Let me open it up again. Okay, let me see. Slide 38. Okay, so global arrays. Building a conventional three-dimensional global array. Okay. Uh, set. Oh, oh, it's actually doing like matrix stuff. Um... There are 1 million cells value of the global array. Maybe it's 100 planes of matrices. Access to each element requires three indices. Okay. The version is best that is a tree of depth three. Oh, interesting. You know what? This is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. A lot of matrix stuff. Maybe, maybe we should use this for uh, machine learning, you know? That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, blast from the past. All right. So yeah, mumps. I mean, you know, you learn something. I learn something every day. This is that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting. All right. Uh, okay. So let me uh, let me go back to the stupid thing. So congrats. Here's your account number. So generate account number. Um, 
what uh, an index.js, and then I'll make it index. I'll split this. I'll make it index.js, and the index is just like what's in React uh, SSR. Um, there it is. It's gonna hydrate at the root. That's all it's gonna do. And then I'm gonna give this a root. Uh, uh, we'll make this a div ID root. Div, okay. Um, okay. Okay, yep. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, I also need to serve this. I need to serve the, yeah, I'm, preact, I'm done with preact, that's, that's garbage. I'm gonna, bun has a example, I think, probably. Like right here, right? Okay, so async um, fetch, and then we could say if rec.url ends with um, .js, and we could say, um, return new response file import file serve uh, from bun. Okay, file joint. Wait, do I need serve? No, I don't need that. Uh, okay, mums actually seems kind of neat and unfortunate name though. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, uh, not not the greatest name. They actually tricked me into learning it. <laughs> they, they tricked you? Yeah, what I'm being told is that it's good once you get used to it, and it's definitely not Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> they tricked me into learning it by putting it on the job interview assessment and saying it was a fictional language. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, I could program in this. Bumps, unfortunately, that's, what, that's why people call it M now. Oh, ooh, M, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. That's a good name. It's great marketing right there. All right, so let me see. Uh, Index.js, okay. Um, my app does not have a, a prop, so I am not going to be doing that. Uh, let me see. This bun, it, okay. All right, file, uh, join, import.meta, dir. I guess that's how you access the file system or something. Uh, from the runtime, what, uh, wouldn't I just say rec.url, right? Um, oh yeah, I guess it's better to hard code. <laughs> yeah, it's probably better to hard code, uh, for right now. Cannot find join. Oh, okay. So, oh, there's a path import join, uh, from path. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. I thought, uh, does it not do auto imports? Oh, okay. Join. Join. Oh, it does. Okay. All right. I just had to do it. So a file also, right? Somewhere. Join. Okay. Maybe it only does it at the top level. So I actually need a request now and I hate calling it rec. Uh, okay. Request. Has an any type. Sure. It is an any type. Uh, oh, oh, it is. It actually has a type request. Okay, cool. So now I can just type request and get stuff. Oh, okay. That's much better. Um, okay, so rec URL includes dot page TSX. Okay, so I think... Um, oh, oh, new URL. Path name. That's what I want. I don't want... <laughs> like, what is that? What is that right there? Return new respect. That's what I want. I want that. But I'll I'll just um for right now I'll just hard code this because I want it to work. Maybe I'll finally learn React through Osmosis one of these days. <laughs> uh, supposedly it's the original NoSQL before there even was SQL. Yeah, that's what it said. It said a key value, right? So uh, that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, I I didn't even know that there was like a key value store before SQL was invented, you know, or before relational databases were invented. But it makes sense, like. You have to start with key value first and then you like move on to relational, right? Um, and then apparently we went back to key value and we did column stores and all kind of document databases, uh, which I don't know. Uh, okay, so let me, um, let me try this. 
Let me, uh, let me try this. Cool. Uh, it doesn't like, it doesn't like that. Can I not do, uh, like HTML lets me do that. I can't do that there. Uh, maybe I can't do any quotes at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> let me see. So the first thing I think, oh, there, I found it. Uh, the first thing is I need to see if index, oh, it does. It rendered. Okay, cool. So this index, it, I don't know if it ran. No, it didn't. Unexpected token. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. De it definitely didn't like that. Um, it definitely did not like that. I think, um, oh, because it's JSX, right? Index.js. I might need React, I think, right? Um, in the in the app. Oh, received the string true for defer. Although this works. Oh my goodness. True. Okay. Do I also? Okay. All right. Uh, so I need I need React here. I need this to be in a separate. I do I need this to be in a separate thing? Uh, I don't know if I need this to be in a separate thing. Um, maybe I do need, no. Cause what am I doing here? React on hydrate. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, that's all it says. It doesn't say like how build index. So it's actually serving HTML. Um, I, I definitely, I definitely need this. Um, so when it, when it hydrates, it's going to hydrate app, but it doesn't know index.js doesn't know, right? The browser can't, uh, can't possibly do this. There's no way react JS. Um, oh, I need a, I need a, I need bun to bundle it for me. Oh my goodness. Is bun going to do it? Will bun do it for me though? Let's just look at a uh, regular. Let's just look at regular React. Cause it's it said, right? It's a bundler, right? So let's look. Examples, React. Okay, let's look at package JSON. Okay. What is it what what is that? Bun bun? What? What is this? What is bun bun? <laughs> what what the heck is what is bun bun? But oh I'm oh I'm bundling. Okay, I see. Interesting. All right, so I it, there is a bundle. Okay, all right, I, I get it. I think I think I understand how it's working now. So I would say bun bun, um, and I would say uh, okay. So I need to I need to bundle. I need a separate. I need a separate. Uh, we need a separate um as uh, uh app app js right is that what they said in the uh, the thingy here yeah this one <laughs> didn't have anything uh react um i mean i i think that's how it's going to be and we'll move my we'll move my component to it too Okay. And then we will default, we will uh, default app, we'll export it. Bun is short for bundle. Yes, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I picked up on that a little too late, but yeah, I got it. Okay, uh, let me see. So app, um, yes, also, yes, bun is short for bundle. I, you know what, like, but it just, it threw me off because I, you know, it's like, I, uh, you know, it's like, what? bun bun right it's it sounds like something you know you would uh okay so so um this would be so this one will be import um app from app can i do that import app from app let's see if this works first bun run i actually i really like this name that makes sense probably if I knew what was going on. 
let's see here. Okay, so that this is uh, this is still working. It's still going. Um, obviously, yeah, it's not uh, the it's not bundled. So if I do bun bun and I do uh, okay, <laughs> I'm getting so close. If I if I do bun bun um, in index JS and um, if I do app JS and index JS, right? Okay, so look, something happened, right? That was fast, by the way. <laughs> Save to node modules bun. Okay, so I've. Okay, so I don't know what happened necessarily, but I there's a there is a node modules dot bun. Oh, oh, it's a directory. Node modules dot bun. Oh no, it's not. I just made a misspelling. Modules dot bun. Okay, so I do, I don't know what this is. It looks like a JavaScript file. Um, so maybe if I serve this somehow. Uh, let's see. If we go back to the bun documentation docs. Uh, cool. Okay, so um, TypeScript types. Bun install. Lock files. Oh my goodness. Ca uh, cache bun run bun run start but how okay bun create local templates uh okay destination dir cool oh here's bun bun to generate a node modules that bun file all import dependencies recursively why bundle for browsers loading entire apps without bundling dependencies is typically slow the bottleneck the web browser's ability to run main network there are many workarounds link rel module preload there are none more effective than bundling if you have on the server bundling reduce the number of file system lookups what is dot bun yeah that's my question right <laughs> all the bundled source code metadata it, when I import where in the bun, not resolving, web modules, it's a little bit like a build cache, but designed for reused cost builds. Position independent code. Wow, this they really put a lot of thought into this. Bun files are marked executable. To print out the code, run node modules bun in your, or bun. Okay, here's a copy pasteable example. Every bun file starts with this. You'll want to get the code. Some info. Oh yeah, I, I found it. I'm a fast scroller. <laughs> I'm a super fast scroller. <laughs> I I usually skip past everything. Uh, okay, so let me see. The um note that dot bun is a binary file for so just opening it. Yeah, no kidding. If you're using Vercel in a public folder, you'll want to get the code from the bun file and stick that somewhere your web server can find it. Only bundles that are imported or required. Okay. Module hash. Okay, so that, um, but I can't serve a dot bun file. Okay, so I apparently I have to. Apparently I have to make it a JS file. That's super confusing. So it is J. It's like a, it's like a minified JS file, right? So here we could just say, okay. So now if I try to serve node modules, right? Um, okay, so now if I try, instead of serving index, I can try this instead? Doesn't even make any sense. I don't, <laughs> I think this is only for the server though, right? Because I didn't, uh, I didn't bundle server, bun run server. Whoop. And node modules dot bun. Um. Oh, that's something that didn't happen before. Uh, what if I delete node modules dot bun? 
Okay. Okay, so this thing still doesn't like my index.js. Wait, am I really serving index.js still? Um, no, I'm serving node modules.js. Node modules JS. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the heck? It's yeah, it's minified JS. Okay, so it's supposed Okay. Well, let's look at this one more time. The example here. Um the <laughs> Okay, let's look. So join. So this is just server rendered. Um, I don't know what that is, but sure. Uh, page.tsx. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. It's a high, it's a code highlighter. Shiki highlighter. Oh, I didn't know what it was. I, all this stuff I don't even know exists. Uh, Wow. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. React Dom Hydrate. If I just look at the, uh, okay, so import as React from React. Let's do that instead, right? Do I have to do this? Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can import a CSS file. So this is a, f okay, we'll make ours as a const, but we will, doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, app name, okay, export default, which I did, and then um, what else is there? That was the JSX file, right? Okay, and this is an index JSS file, but mine is uh, hydrate, right? So I also need this too, import as React from React, um, and then I also need import app, which I did not have before. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good catch. I actually, actually don't need semicolons. I don't think. Oh wait, this is JavaScript, but that's, that's okay. React on render strict mode. Okay. Um, and then if I look at this, this is a react project bootstrap with bun, bun, create react app first run the development server. You can start editing the page by modifying. Oh, I see. Okay, so there is there is a dev, a dev server that that uh, serves it all up. So there's no hydration or anything. What's in public? Oh, uh, what's in app CSS? Oh, it's just CSS. So Bun does all this stuff in the dev server. But what if I? Oh, I see. I see. I need to, uh, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Not bench. Um, bun landing. Uh, so here's the page, but it's really a SSR that this is like a dev server, but combined with, uh, bun live reload. Yeah. So it, this is kind of like a dev server, but it, it renders one component page. And, uh, so if it, uh, if it's the root, if it doesn't include a dot, <laughs> it just renders page, which that's but sh, right? So if I, uh, uh, hello. Oh, okay. So this is just, uh, it's just a static file hosted on GitHub pages, but interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so let me go back to this bun thing. So for this to work, I need bun to be serving the page. And then if I look at page, there's no like rehydration or anything, right? It's, it's just, uh, it's just a bunch of react components, right? That's it. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, that's all it is. Okay. So there, it's doing something that I don't, let's build. Um, uh, 
cut text. Yeah, it's kind of not as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. I thought for sure I'd be able to just call it rehydrate. So I think I think I need bun to serve. I think I need bun to serve this thing. Um, two. I I yeah. All right. Let me let me try it. So I guess it's not as straightforward as uh, I mean I can server render, but I can't like server render just like that. I have to like do this thing. And I also don't need to export default for some reason because serve is going to do it, I guess. Let me see. We'll just type it out because I don't. Live reload. Uh, fetch. Oh, I see. That's the function. Okay. So I've just got a async function. Uh, and then I've got um, ends with JS. I was trying to serve no modules, but that didn't work. Index JS, I guess, right? But I, I don't want to serve that as a static file, I, I don't think. Uh, let's look at app again. Yeah, maybe I was uh, simplifying it quite a bit. <laughs> I I can't just I can't just serve it as a static file, right? <laughs> I mean, I could try module, I guess. Anyway, maybe I maybe I try it one more time. Uh, let's get live. Oh, what is live reload? Uh, cool. Live reload is just text. Cool. Apparently, the uh, the bun types didn't really help me. From bun, live reload, um, and then let me see. Okay, I think I think that's everything. Serve. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see, yeah, they well import. So I'm importing here. I guess I don't want to import. I only want to do that here. It's default app uh, equals await. That's interesting. You can actually import um, from inline. Yeah, that's super interesting. Okay. Render the readable stream. Okay, app uh, headers. Sure. Okay. Let's see if it works. Bun run. Uh, bun live reload. Oh, I need to actually, uh, it's bun add bun live reload. Okay. All right. So now bun is going to be serving it, right? Oh my gosh. Segmentation fault. Wow. That, uh, that doesn't just happen. Okay. I, I, you know what? I, uh, I, I probably shouldn't do this because, uh, it's clearly, uh, has some problems. So there is a way to do live reloading in for SSR. I was looking for a flag like watch, but I haven't found anything yet. Uh, is that, you're talking about bun live reload itself? Um, yeah, I don't think you need to actually write any code either, right? I think, uh, I think bun will just do it for you. Bun, um, like bun dev, I think, right? Yeah. Like just, just bun dev, right? But I don't know if it has any flags. Damn, you did that with JS. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't I can't believe it. I, well, I didn't do it, right? That was Bun. I, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty funny. I mean, I, I pretty much followed their own thing, though, right? I, I followed their own their own code. All right. I think uh I think oh, you know what? It's probably this. Wait. No, but I took, oh, I did do that. Yeah, I did. You're right. I did do that. That's, that's for, I did, I did really do that. All right. Let me do, uh, let me do bun run server again. Um, and we'll see what happens now. 
Is it another segmentation fault? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to back out all of that stuff. And uh, I will figure out how to do this another way. And another day. Because it's super late for me. Um, all right. Well, I mean, at least... Um, at least I got this far with Bun before I got a seg fault, so that would, that's kind of nice. Uh, oh, you know what? There's no more. When I did script type module, it actually let me do this. There's no way. How can it run it? Wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. There's no error. Shoot. I got a bun crash today too. <laughs> Should put that on your resume. <laughs> Seg fault with JavaScript, baby. Uh, okay, so this this actually is working now because I did script type module, and then uh, I did source index though. Oh, because I'm serving node modules .js, and it uh, it didn't fail. Um, so I wonder if the rehydrate thing is working. Oh shoot, maybe maybe this is gonna work. I thought I was gonna end on a bad note. Let me, oh, you know what? Let me, um, shoot, if I rehydrate, that means I could do like a click, right? Uh, how, I don't know how to do the click. How do I, rea uh, react, JS, uh, just like, can I, does it have it on the thing? Like, do I do click? What do I do? Uh, get started, uh, learn. Where's the, does it just have something here? Oh, here we go, okay. Props state um how do i oh here we go this uh on yeah we'll do on click button on click can we do that is that a thing we could do on click um and we call a function right wait what if it's not a what if it's a function component how does how does that work how does that work? Do I need, can I just call a function from outside of the component or do I just, do I just start? Maybe I, maybe I want to do something like the apps, uh, const app. We'll do, we'll do function, function app, um, like this. And then we'll just return like that. Right. Okay. So that, all right, there we go. Okay. And then we'll just do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So let me see. On click, click. Uh, how does this do it? This dot handle change bind. And then there's an e, right? So I think I could just do this, right? And then I could say uh, this dot set state. Um, and I can have a div here. Clicked. Clicked. Oh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> how do you insert stuff? What is it? Uh, how do you insert things? Value? Man, I haven't done React in so long. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, this dot, this dot state. Wait, wait, wait. Even with the function component? This dot set state? Docs. Try React? No. Uh, main concepts, uh, components. Okay. So here's a function component rendering function, composing state and handling events. That's what I want on click. Oh, it's, oh, you don't have to do this weird. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I can just do that on click. Oh, oh, oh and, and you can actually just call um oh never mind no you can't uh we will say um uh increment increase counter uh set count right and then okay so we'll have a function here called set count i don't know how to use use effect and all that stuff so i'm just <laughs> can i just do this how do I uh, state in lifecycle? 
root render set interval. I know that like I have to use like use effect or something, and maybe I don't. Maybe it's okay. Uh, converting a function to a class. Adding local state to a class. Oh, can you not have state in a function component? Oh, is that what the use stuff is for? Using state correctly. Okay. We'll just, um, I don't want to get crazy. We'll just uh, go back to my inline thing. Uh, this dot set state. I mean, do, do function components not have state? This dot set state? React JS function components set state. Oh, there was a there was a Stack Overflow. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, props. Blah blah blah. There is only one that no method as you've question. Uh, it's a composite in terms of parameter. If you're sticking with the switch to a function, then it's slightly different. Okay. All right. All right, so this uh, react and then use state, right? Uh, okay. And then here I have, you know what? Forget this, this is so stupid. <laughs> Let me, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, extends, right? Uh, let me see, extends, how do they do it here? State and life cycle. Okay. Ah, oh, React component. React component. Okay, and then we could say render. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, and then this is there like an init a constructor props. Super props, which I don't have any. Uh, and then this dot state equals uh, I um, a counter count zero. Uh, on click this dot set state count um, is this dot state dot count plus one. <laughs> uh, cool. And then this dot state dot count right times. All right, so let's do bun bun, um, whatever I did before. Bun, bun bun. Oh, it's right here. Uh, it is, that's definitely doing something, but it's way slower than before. It's way slower, like hilariously slow. Is this because I seg faulted before from before? Is it, is that? How is it so fast before? What? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, maybe because it uh, is totally wrong here. Maybe because I'm missing something. Oh, I see it. It completely crashed. That's why. Okay. It just it just crashed silently. Oh my gosh, it just crashed my whole terminal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So don't have don't have a typo in your thing because oh there it is. Now it's fast. Okay. So if you have a typo, button just completely falls apart. And it uh, it does not uh, bun node modules. Okay, let me do that. There we go. Okay, so let me see. Let me see if this will do something. Bun run. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow, it doesn't like that node. Oh, because I have the I have to delete it every time. Okay, all right. Uh, we getting all the possible errors today. <laughs> it's so true. All right, so clicked zero times. Oh no, it's not working. Oh wait, invalid event handler property on click. Did it, oh my gosh, are you serious? I had it right the first time. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me um let me do this all again. But uh, let me do that, and then I'll do um. No node modules bun to node modules js and then rm node modules dot bun. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. No, 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 it's not rehydrating the events. 
Dang it, I thought for sure it would work. Uh I'm gonna get rid of this dumb well no, I can't I can't get rid of it. Uh it doesn't even show anything, right? There's there's nothing. <laughs> it just loaded the file and just did nothing. I mean at least there's no syntax errors. Um Did it actually load node modules though? Okay, yeah, it did. So it's the, um, I'm not sure if I need all that. I mean, I definitely need React. We, we get to see all the bugs. Um, shoot. I mean, I mean, I feel like I'm so, so close, but it's just not going to have it on stream. Dang it. Man, I thought for sure I'd be able to do this. Uh, damn, man, it's so, it's so good. It's so, I just, I just want to click this button and just have it, have it increment. Uh, you know what? Actually, let me, um, let me do something simpler. I think if I just did a console, can I just do this maybe? Console.log hello, right? Or, or even having this, even having this thing, um, say console.log <laughs> hello, <laughs> right? Also, do I need re oh, I do have React in here. Console so just having this say that would be it'd mean the world to me, you know? Bun run server dot TSX. Okay. Oh, so it did it. It did it locally. Right. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So I do I don't see it here. Um wait, what the heck? Where's my console? Okay. Verbose. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, yeah, it stinks. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, that's it for the stream. Uh, oh, wait, did I turn JS back on? Uh, wait, did I? Let me see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I feel like I did. JavaScript. Um, yeah, I did. I did. Don't, yeah, don't allow sites. Get, yeah, I, I totally did it. Nope, it's just not working. It's dead. Yeah, I wish it was that. It's just not working. Uh, that's yeah, that's all it is. It just doesn't want to work. Dang it, man. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Uh, so that's it. I uh, thanks for watching, guys, uh, or and whoever. I I really appreciate it. Uh, two step and Hellfire Squid. I really appreciate watching. I'm glad I learned about M today and mumps. Uh, or I guess they're the same thing, but yeah. Um, so I will be back, uh, probably on, uh, next week. I probably won't be on this weekend. Um, I'm remodeling my bathroom. So, uh, yeah, probably not going to happen, but, uh, thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> yeah. So close. All right. I, yeah, I'll be back probably on Tuesday. Uh, but I might, I might actually make a YouTube video. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see. All right. That's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.